Hey everybody. The GoPro's kind of in a weird spot. Oh, let me fix it. Oh, I'm out of breath. I'm out of breath because I'm parked in the garage and um, there was some kind of like, um, the last time that I parked, there was some kind of like event going on. And so like I had to like park like up, you know, like, like in the garage, there, like there's inclines, <laughs> there's inclines and I had to park like up the incline and I've been sitting in a hospital room for too long and I wasn't prepared for that. <laughs> I am leaving the hospital um, so if you haven't seen the updates lately my son is going to be discharged in less than a week and um, there is so much to do at home because my plan is to all the things that we can't do while he's there I'm trying to rush and do before he's discharged so things like um, having the carpets cleaned um, we've been trying his carpet's really bad. Let me explain why. First of all, when we when we first moved into the condo, the kitchen did not have a floor. Like it was there was no flooring. It was just kind of like this this material that was almost like paperish. And so it got, you couldn't clean it. And um, it got really dirty. And so anytime we walk through the kitchen barefoot and then somebody walks on the carpet, like it gets the carpet dirty. It was, it's disgusting. And then of course, like the dog. So like if my son, I have a male dog, he's not fixed. And so like if like the times that my son has like wet the bed or whatever and has, there's been like a urine smell in that room, then my dog, my male dog thinks he needs to go and like also pee there. Do you understand what I'm saying? So we've lived in that condo for seven years and the carpet has never been cleaned just because um, he, would, he wouldn't he would uh, appreciate strange people being in our condo. He wouldn't appreciate the noise. So, you know, we don't, uh, we haven't ever got it done. So they are like pressure washing in here. If you're wondering what's going on. So, um, I have um, Stanley Steamer, you know, good old Stanley Steamer. Um, some of my fr my son's favorite um, commercials he likes to watch on YouTube. Um, they've always got specials going on, so I have them coming out tomorrow. And I also have some junk remover people coming out tomorrow because my daughter and I actually got a lot of the stuff out that needed to get out, like the the old um, his old bed and the broken sliding glass door things like that but there's some like other stuff that I want to get rid of so one of the things like an old microwave I know you can't just like put that on the garbage um, and then also we have a really like old heavy treadmill that doesn't work anymore hasn't worked in a long time and there's no way that she and I could do that so I'm having them pick up that the microwave and also our dining room table our dining room table is like over a decade old and it's got like the wooden top and ev it's just deteriorating because like anytime it's wet or anything like and it's just it's just like you can't you cannot clean it like appropriately it's it's wood it's got grooves in it it's terrible so I'm having them pick up those three things and um, then <laughs> While all that is going on, um, my daughter and I are going to, like, throw everything away. Um, the whole closet in the back needs to be emptied. There's, like, a mold issue going on. So, um, I have, uh, purchased some, some, like, professional, um, mold kit from this company and I actually can't think of the name of them right now I'll put it up on the screen if I remember um, they they like they're the ones that sell to like hospitals and like professionals that like um, do things like this so they're really cool because when you order the stuff they call you and they talk to you about like what you have going on is this something that you could do yourself and then they they tell you like exactly like what to do to like use the product and like use it best and all that kind of stuff so my plan is you know tomorrow carpets get all the junk out get everything out that we can so you know anything that needs to go in the trash 
clean like you're moving, baby. Clean like you're moving. My daughter and I are going to do that while all the other stuff is going on. And then sometime next week, before he gets discharged, um, I will be home with my daughter and we will do, we're gonna, we're gonna, there's like bomb things that you have to set off. They're not like toxic, um, is what the company says. It's nothing toxic, but it's like stuff, the bombs like pull the mold and stuff out of the air and then like, you don't wanna like breathe that of course, so you have to be gone for two hours. So the plan will be to, I'm talking a lot, I really apologize. Um, the plan will be to take the dog to the groomer and set the bombs off as we leave. And then as he's at the groomer, we'll like run a couple of errands, probably grab something, excuse me, to eat, and then um, go back. And after the bombs, there's a spray that you use. I keep burping, I apologize. I had the spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> I had the hospital spaghetti. It wasn't bad. It wasn't great, but it's it's making me a little gassy. So the spray, then you've got to, you know, the 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 bombs kind of pull all the mold and like um, pull it down out of the air and everything. So then you have a spray where you do like you wipe all the surfaces and everything. And it's not just for mold. It's like um, fungus, bacteria. I want. I want it to be so clean when he comes home. Why do I still have my blinker on? Um, I want it to be so clean when he comes home. So that's everything I'm trying to get done. And then of course, once we do that, then we need to wash like, um, not only wipe down everything, but we'll have to like wash all the bedding, get that put all back on and stuff like that. So I am leaving the hospital tonight. He's with the sitter, he's already sleeping. Um, my daughter and I, uh, and the dog, We'll be at the condo tonight. We're gonna sleep there so we can be there in the morning to get the rooms ready for the carpet cleaners to come. And um, they're coming between 12 and five, so who knows what time they'll be there. But as soon as, you know, they come and the and the drunk people come, you know, then, then we're leaving. Everybody's going back everywhere. I'll be back at the hospital until the next day that I have to do all the stuff. So this is just the introduction. How long is this? I've been talking for 10 minutes. <laughs> so um, I'll kind of show you like, you know, as we go through tomorrow, all the stuff that um, that we're gonna get done and everything. Cause you know, once he's home, once he's home, there's, there's no time, there's no, not time, there's no uh, ability to like, do the extent of the things that we even need to do. Cause like, you know, even for like using the bomb things and stuff, like where, where would I take him for two hours? You know? Um, so this is really like, this is really it. So I'm, I, I'm, I, I, I just, there's so much to do. There's so much to do. And I'm also trying to, you know, while, um, during the day at the hospital while not doing other things trying to go through my old videos to make more videos and that is a really time that is a really time consuming process and so I don't really know I mean if I'm gonna have videos also with my son coming home like my my daughter and I won't be able to do anything anymore um, you know cuz once he's home one of us has to be home because no one else will help with him. So there will not be any more, you know, mother, daughter dashes or anything like that, you know, unless or until, you know, um, there's some kind of day program that I can get him into. That is the reality of our lives. So I'm tired. I'm gonna turn this light off now. Who's, who's texting me? I'm going to go home and get a little bit of this sleep and then uh, I'll see you in the morning and we're going to clean like a bunch of freaking crazy people tomorrow. Like a bunch of freaking crazy people. So they're done. Um, they're done. And this, the carpet still looks like this.
so I am quite disappointed. Merlin, the carpet is wet. <laughs> so dejected. Like, honestly, I want to cry a little bit because, like, I had, like, the expectation that it would look clean. It looks fucking the same. It looks the same. It doesn't look any better. Um... <laughs> It, I mean, it it just, it looks terrible. I don't know if it looks better when it dries, but... I mean, at least it didn't cost me that much, but still. Like, I had an expectation that, like, you know, like, when they come to clean the carpets, like, the carpets actually, like, look clean, like, when they're done. I guess not. And, um, this is our room. I mean, that looks terrible. Um, so you saw the carpet. We got up early. I went to the store, got some quarters to do some laundry, came back. We immediately started getting the rooms ready. Like, just filth. Filth. Throwing away so much stuff. I can't... I made... How many trips did I make to the dumpster? Like, five? I don't even know. And then that's not counting like the bags that I put down, like the trash chute. And, um, yeah. So Stanley Steamer came. You saw the carpet. It doesn't look clean. I mean, I honestly can't ever remember getting carpet clean before, so I don't know if that's normal. I just, my expectation <laughs> from like the commercials and things is that like, they, they get the stains out of the carpet and that wasn't the case like they were barely they were, weren't even here for maybe like 15 minutes to clean two rooms so I'm not happy with that um, but now we're working she's working on the Christmas tree I'm working on getting the kitchen cleaned up and then we have um, the closet back in the sunroom that needs to be emptied out the junk people we're supposed to be here today. Um, it's like 1.11 now. So I came over here to look to see if they had sent any emails. They sent an email this morning saying that our appointment for them to come pick up is on Monday from whatever time to whatever time. And that's incorrect because I specifically scheduled both things to happen today because I plan to be here today. Nobody's going to be here Monday. So I don't know why they switched it to Monday. So then I just had to call them and tell them, like, that's not when I scheduled it. I scheduled it for today. I said I was going to be here from 12 to 5. Like, so y'all need to, you know, she, she said, you know, she'll call them and, and see if they can come today. I'm just like, whatever. So if they don't come today, then that's a problem. Because then I'm going to have to come back here Monday. And then I'm going to have to come back here Tuesday you know and like you know be away from the hospital and then have him just there with the sitter which could be upsetting for him anyways so she's working on that i'm gonna work on the kitchen i gotta fold laundry we just we we got us still a whole bunch of stuff to do a whole bunch of stuff to do like a whole bunch of stuff to do so how much um it came to 164 to do those two rooms and that was just for the cleaning and then they did like um hi it's just the wind Marlon! um just the they did like a deodorizing spray which trust me we needed so 164 dollars for the carpets to still look the same the same. Robert, watch your butt. Yeah, babe, you called him the different name. I think he was behind me. I can't remember his name. It's Harry Potter. Oh. Tell me what, what, what would make that. It's his parents. That's why. Did you get a lift up? 
How are we gonna fit that? How did it fit in the box? I don't know. Oh boy. Can't really tell. No, you can't really see it much on the GoPro, but like, <laughs> oh my god, we need to sweep. Good lord, it is everywhere. I'm heading back to the hospital now. Um, it's after five o'clock. The people who were supposed to come and pick up uh, stuff for us, the treadmill and all that, never showed up. So I called them the first time. I'm like, they're supposed to be coming out today. Why does it say Monday on the email? She says, you know, sorry, I'll contact them and tell them the pickup's supposed to be today. Waiting, hours, hours, hours go by. Don't receive a phone call, a text. No one shows up, I call back. I call back around like 4.15, talk to somebody again, explain it, the whole thing again, like I scheduled this specifically for today because this is the day that I was going to be home. So why is it scheduled on Monday? They need to come today. I'm like, are they coming? Are they coming? Because I am leaving in like 45 minutes. And so she's like, Oh, I see there's a note here, you know, telling them um, that there was supposed to be today. Let me contact the office and somebody will call you immediately. No one has called me. And so I left. And so the two things, the two things that were supposed to be done today that I specifically stayed home for we're not done. The carpet cleaners came and they did absolute shit. The carpets look like absolute shit. It looks like they did nothing. It looks like they just wet the carpet. They were there for like 15 minutes. And then the junk people don't show up. Like, I'm so pissed right now. I am so pissed right now. <clears throat> the GoPro shut off and I don't know like when it shut off if I was talking or not so anyways my daughter and I were able to get a lot done because we had to prep the rooms for them to come and clean the carpets clean the carpets um So, you know, we threw a lot away. I mean, we probably single-handedly filled up the dumpster for our building today. No, no joke. We got rid of that. And that's just from the bedrooms. We have too much shit, let me tell you. 
I am tired of all that shit. We got rid of a lot of stuff, and we would have gotten rid of more if the people to pick up the junk had shown up. But we cleaned everything, and dusted, and vacuumed, and got part of the kitchen done. We got the Christmas tree put away. Um, I mean, so we accomplished a lot, but, you know, without the other things being accomplished, you know, I want him to, I want it to be clean when he comes home. That carpet is not clean. It's not clean. It's not... It's not, you know, just like, oh, I just want the carpet to look nice. I want it to be clean. He's been sick in the hospital. I want it to be clean. <sighs> I don't want to start crying because I got to walk, you know, five miles through the hospital to get to his room. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. So, um, the plan for Tuesday is the dog's gonna go to the groomer. We're gonna set off the bombs um, to handle the mold. Be gone for two hours, get some errands done during that time, then come home and um, clean like crazy again. And hopefully somebody can come pick up the junk. We'll see. Thank you. He didn't even like ask me anything or check my ID. He just opened the gate. <sighs> you know, Tuesday's the last day to, to get anything done because he's coming on Thursday and I don't I don't wanna be spending this much time away from the hospital, you know, um, even if he has a sitter, you know, because he, I don't think he likes when I leave, like, I think he gets upset, which is understandable, because he wants to leave, so, that's all, back to the hospital, and, um, We'll see what happens Tuesday.